Cast down deceptions. 2 Corinthians chapter 11, verses 3 and 4. But I fear lest somehow, as the serpent deceived Eve by his craftiness, so your minds may be corrupted from the simplicity that is in Christ. For if he who comes preaches another Jesus whom we have not preached, or if you receive a different spirit which you have not received, or a different gospel which you have not accepted, you may well put up with it. As we continue talking about casting down imaginations, we must understand that there are a certain, certain kinds of imaginations that are actually deceptions. They are actually lies or untruths. They are things the enemy puts in our mind which are actually opposing the truth of the Word of God. The enemy can interject our minds with imaginations or that are deceiving. They're actually lies that are presented to us as though it was truth. Or sometimes the imagination makes us doubt the truth and think that the truth is a lie. So it works both ways. So these imaginations come into our mind and they uh, cause us to doubt the Word of God. They cause us to question the validity of God, what God has said. They present lies as though it was true. So that's how these deceptions come into our mind in, in, the, air, in the form of uh, uh, imaginations that are actually deceptions. And so Paul writes here, he says, you know, I, I want you to be careful in your mind because I, I don't want the enemy, just like the way he deceived Eve, uh, to corrupt your minds through his deceptions. So every, any imagination and any thought that comes into your mind, you and I have to weigh it or test it with the Word of God. Is this what the Word of God says? For example, if a deception comes into your mind saying, you know, it is God who has made you sick. No, the Bible says, He heals me of all my diseases. So why would the Word of God say He heals me of all my diseases and then hear these thoughts coming and saying, hey, God made you sick. That's a deception. Or, oh, it is God who has withheld good things from you. It is God who has kept all these good things away from you. But, uh, you know, that deception says that. But His Word says uh, that God uh, is a sun and a shield. He will give grace and glory. And no good thing will even the whole from you. Uh, from those who walk uprightly. So the Bible says God is not the God who withholds good things from us. He is a Father of lights from whom comes every good and perfect gift. So the deception uh, comes in in the form of an imagination that tells you that hmm, God is not a good God, God's a bad God, God's the God who's doing all this to you. And you've got to weigh and test every imagination that comes into your mind because the enemy puts his deceptions into our mind through these imaginations. That's why the Bible says, cast them down, get rid of them, don't accept them, don't tolerate them. Reject those deceptions of the Word of God uh, and of the truth of His Word, the way Jesus did it. Let's pray. Father, we ask that You'll help us guard our mind from getting corrupted with deceptions and lies and untruths that the devil might try to put in, into our minds. Let the Word of Truth, Your Word, fill our hearts and minds. We thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Thank you for tuning in to Living Supernaturally. For more resources to strengthen your spiritual walk, please visit apcwo.org.